Hi there, and welcome to the demonstration of the breadboard assembly task. To begin, the simulation should be populated by several users at each station. At each station, they will be doing specific tasks related to which table they are at based on the role assigned by the proctor. You would have a proctor within the simulation who would stand behind this table and observe everyone as they go through the process. The user, or proctor I should say, is able to begin the simulation at any point in time by looking at this cube and selecting it. This will start this countdown timer, which is viewable to everyone at every station. After 30 minutes have passed within the simulation, the tabulation of the results will come by at any time, or can be stopped at any point in time by the proctor by using the cube again. Within this space, at each table and station, there will be users at each performing specific tasks within the assembly. There are several trays out and about within here, a total of 10, which are used to help users carry objects from one to another. You can populate the space with assets based off of what button you see here and the label related to it. So I can hit that button and a blue breadboard will be added to my environment. I can then add or put the blue breadboard in its location there or a red breadboard. There are six total locations that these boards can fit in within this tray. And the next would be the small trays, of which a user can have four set up on this tray at any, or I should say in this location at any point in time. What you could then do, or should then do as the next process, is begin populating this area with uh, the assets that are required within them. In this case, it would be the strings, you need five per board, and you can put these in your small trays. And what you are going to need to do is populate your entire um, toolkit or carrying case with all the assets that are going to be necessary for your users who are at their stations. Each breadboard requires, at minimum, five springs. As such, when you hit the springs button, it will spawn five springs for you at once. If you are doing a full tray, you will need a total of six LEDs, which is why when you press the button once, you will get six LEDs. Or you can uh, set LEDs that are necessary for your process aside. Oop. Each metal tray can hold up to 30 objects. And you can mix and match objects within a tray, although for organizational purposes, we recommend that you keep all objects of certain types in there. But if you wanted to, you could uh, put this green diode in with the springs, but I'm going to keep them separate. Okay, and after you have finished the population by utilizing each of these tasks, you would then go to your stations uh, with the assets and bring them forward to each. Okay, so I spawn my resistor ones, these are my resistor twos. And last would be the diodes. We recommend that you clear the spawning area before spawning additional assets uh, so that they do not overlap and that you have a better time or easier time when it comes to placing assets within the metal trays. Okay. What you can then do is take the assets and your tray that have been assembled over to the table and you will see this mounting location here and if you want you can have a stopwatch to keep track of how long you take at your station. So all you do is look at that and click on it, and your timer will start independent of the overall timer here. Then I'm able to grab my board, and by looking at this blue dot and placing it on, it will change its display to match the layout of the assembly process for the board in question. This is the configuration for the red board. The green dots are for the springs. So you can see if I'm holding a spring and looking at them, I can place them in there. And we're just going to do that initially here for this red breadboard. Okay. 
Okay, so my board is now assembled with the springs, which is what this station's task is. And I can put the blue one, and you can see that the configuration has changed. So let's just match this. Okay, then I can stop my station timer and place it back in here to be carried to the next station. Now within this station, I'm to be assembling the diodes and the resistors. So if I put on my blue board, I can see these little black cube things at their angles and one red resistor and one LED. So I would grab one of those and another one and the red one of these. Okay, that would complete this station's task. Now I'd grab the other one and the red one has different assets required. So it requires two of the red resistors, I believe. Yes, because the white things are diodes. And there we go, you can see it matches. And the last station will be the LEDs. Okay. And I would just grab an LED, put it in, and grab an LED and put it in. And that would complete my assembly. The last station is the testing station where you would take your board, oh, pardon me, take your completed board and you would go through the test to make sure that it has indeed been assembled correctly. For the red breadboard, you would put the red alligator clip in the E1 position grab the black alligator clip and put it on the A2 position. If it is built correctly, the light will not turn on. And if you put it on the A4 position, light should turn on, which is what it looks like there. When you remove it, the light turns off. So this red breadboard would pass the assembly check. Now for the blue breadboard, it is slightly different configuration. You would take the black clip and place it on uh, E1 and the red clip on either of these two locations and the light should turn on for both. Okay, so with that, the configuration has been done properly and has passed my test. And with that, I would then add, depending on my role, declare that I've completed my test and take my assembly back here to this location to be distributed or continue to be assembling while this process is going on, each individual at each station. Once you believe you have or concluded your test, you would look at the cube or 30 minutes will have passed and you'll get this tally here which will tell you how much time total and passed should be 30 minutes um, how many of each board type you have completed and the total given here as well as what the fastest time at the station one timer was that does conclude my demonstration of the breadboard assembly thank you so much for your time